Hello guys and welcome to episode 3 of Pocket GM 20. You guys have killed it with this game, so we are back for episode 3. Here we go. So we are at the offseason, we have to re-sign all of our players. So at quarterback, Kelly Pryor, Paris Bradfield, they're bo or Bradford, they're both good. Now running back, we've got Demarcus Taylor here, who is regressing terribly. Yeah, he's going to be traded. Holy crap, minus 6. But Will Jennings is starting to progress very good, so I'm excited for him. Now, Dwayne Powell, do I see him fitting in for the future for $1.7 million? I'm not sure. I'm thinking with like a late round draft pick, we just draft a running back or something. It's not a huge need for us. Or we could just re-sign him on like a one-year deal. I guess if he's... Hmm, because, look, I'd rather give Will Jennings the playing time. Nah, we're, we're going to release him. Sure, why not? Wide receiver, Riley Webb. I would not mind bringing him back on maybe, well, so we've got two wide receivers who are better than him and one who's almost the exact same. So I think we let him go and we keep the other guys, the other two. Do we keep both of them? We keep at least Andrew Watson for, we'll say, two-year deal until he's 29. I'm fine with that amount of money. We don't have an awful lot of cap room, though, so we have to keep that in mind. Brian Owens, you're asking for too much money for my liking. All wide receivers do that, though. Um, Andrew McCoy, I think that's an easy way to save a little bit of money. Doubt he'll play any significant role on our team next year. Just jinxing myself now. Both my tight ends are going to get injured or some crap. Oh my goodness, that would suck. Demario Ward. I think that's just the same thing. I can save money by cutting him. I mean, I, I mean, money's a big thing for this team, so we got to watch it. Bill Curry. Offensive guard. We do not need four offensive guards. We really don't even need these three. Because they're all very high quality players. Probably end up trading TJ Powell just because he's getting up there in age. And we've already got two other offensive guards. We'll keep both the centers, obviously. They're both under contract. Defensive tackle. We'll, hmm. Do we re sign Stanley Houston? I'm tempted to re sign him to like a one year deal and then trade him. But then again, I think we re sign him for a one year deal. And then we just try to trade him. Four point two million. Might as well bring him down a hundred thousand. And that means that we're gonna have to let Andre Butler walk, though I think. Or do we re-sign him and make him our guy, or do we just draft one? We don't have a lot of big holes on this team, so I say we just draft one. Stefan or Steven, I don't know. Might just be a spelling for Steven or something. I don't know, but Mr. Walton is thirty. Which, all their linebackers are really old, other than the, the worst two. I'm excited for Chandler Parker, Parker. Had a great rookie season. But I'm not really sure here. Um, I say we let him walk. Just because that's a ton of money for a 30-year-old linebacker. He's going to be out of the league soon. However, Titus Young. Yeah, I think it's the same thing. Bring back Rex Ware. It's better development and a cheaper player and a younger player. And he's um, better development, better everything, really. Just a better deal for us. Now, safety. Andrew Ford, that's an interesting one. Nah, I mean, an extra $1.1 million for four overall. It's not really that bad, but still, we're not doing it. Give this guy a one-year deal because he'll probably be replaced in the draft or something. I still won't be enough for an immediate replacement because I'll be a really bad player. Now I've got these really old kicker and a really old punter. If they want to come back, I mean, do it. Give them like a one-year deal each. It's because I'd rather not have to replace them this year and then just replace them next year whenever we're hopefully better off. Hopefully. Free agency. Oh my goodness. Owen Richard, 98 overall. Whew. And, of course, there's a Cody Cook out here, punter. Crap. Two and a half million dollars for a punter? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm going to steer clear of that one. Now, 
All right, let's um let's advance. Yep. All right, tough free agents. Owen Richard, as we already saw, and a 90 overall punter. Nice. Let's look at the draft pool. All right, so it looks like we're going to have some, some decent prospects. I'm really, uh, I don't know. Well, we'll just wait till the draft, you know. Let that happen whenever it happens. Now, here's our roster. And I'm not sure if we have any huge holes. Defensive tackle. Definitely since we're trading Stanley Houston. We definitely need defensive tackle and linebacker. I think our main thing is just defense, defense, defense. Defense is by far our biggest, our biggest hole. And we've really got to address that in the draft in particular. Um, yeah. So that's our biggest thing. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and go here. Anyone we're interested in? Linebacker? Stephon Walton? Isn't that the guy we let go? Pretty sure it is. Any other linebackers or even DTs or anything? Curtis McFadden? Nah, uh, I'm good. We're cheap linebackers. Rex Hayes? Didn't we end up letting him go too? Pretty sure we did. Um, Quentin Jordan. Nah, I'm good. Come on, show me the money. Show me the money. Defensive end, defensive tackle, defensive tackle, defensive tackle. Oh my goodness, so many defensive tackles. Middle linebacker, and they're all just ancient. Paul Kelly. You know what? He's the best guy I've seen so far. Give him a three-year deal. And knock down the salary a bit. $200,000, we knocked him down. I'll take it. Paul Kelly, welcome to the team. So that definitely strengthens us at linebacker, big time. He's our best linebacker now. That'll definitely help us, uh, definitely help uh, with our linebacker room. Now let's, uh, let's go out and get maybe a cornerback or a safety, one of the two. Whichever one we find more appealing. We're just going to immediately go all the way down here. Because I don't feel like spending money on anyone above an 80. Right here is Tank Pow Kid. I don't mind him, really. But, ooh, Will Shaw. Very enticing. Bring him in on a three-year deal. Knock him down to four mil. Bring him down to 4.1. There we go. Alrighty, there it is. I think, I think we're good, really. Let's go to week two. Yeah, everyone's going to go here, but I'm not even sure we make any other signings. I think we just let the rest go through the draft. Unless, only thing I can think of, our offensive line, you're good. All of the offense is really good, but if do we sign a defensive tackle, maybe? But we can just draft a tackle on a safety, can't we? Like... I feel like it'd be better just to draft a tackle on a safety. But we kind of need two. We need at least two tackles, really. So we'll sign at least one tackle. And, ooh, Bruce McGee here. I just flung my finger up the screen. We landed on him, and I think it's fate. Yes, please. Two-year deal. He ain't worth 1.9. Give him 1.8. I mean, he's definitely worth 1.9, but I'm just a cheapskate. All right, Stanley Houston. Let's go ahead and go here. Can we not make trades yet? Oh, yeah, here we go. Who are we going to trade with? Um, Let's go trade maybe with the Bears. We made some trades with them before. Let's go. All right, Chicago. Oh my goodness, we have so many draft picks. Look at this. Look at this art. So you guys would get our defensive tackle... Stanley Houston, please tell me, oh, he has, like, no trade value, okay, and we will get your, uh, your fifth rounder for next year, all right, they like it, and how about, um, give me Jeff Wells, maybe, no, he has way more value, okay, never mind, we'll just, we'll just, do you have a round four, yeah, how much is that? 259, alright, we can get the fourth rounder. There we go. 
I'll take it. Now, um, let's advance to, uh, I think this, this is the last week of free agency. Yeah, alright, so week three of free agency, and I'm not interested in signing any, oh, I might sign a running back. You know what, that's a good shout, if there's anyone worthwhile. Which I should have done it last week, but just completely forgot that we actually needed something on offense. Troy Wells or Zach Lewis? I'm going to take Zach Lewis here. From a one-year deal. 1.4 mil. There we go. Alrighty, now we're done. Let's go to the draft. Let's hope we get a good draft class here. And uh, let's hop right into it. Alright, let's just skip to our pick. 14th pick. Here we go. No. Safety. Alright, I like safety. Eric Spencer, what are you looking like? Work ethic in A. Really fast. Okay. Yeah, it looks like really fast, really... Eh, not really agile, but he also is kind of short. Um, alright. He's really fast, I guess, but... I'm not sure about that. Let's check out this other guy, Mark Cody. Okay, um... He's still really fast. 210. What was this other guy? 210 as well. Alright. So they both are really fast. This guy's really strong though. But he doesn't have the A work ethic. He's got A potential. What was the other guy's potential? A plus potential. Oh, I think this might be the pick here actually. B plus current compared to B plus current. Okay. So right now I'm leaning towards Eric Spencer unless someone else can change my mind. And this guy ain't doing it. Oh my goodness, that combine's incredible, but... Mm, but those, those those key skills aren't doing it for me, so... What's Zach Shepard looking like? No, no, I think, I think it's obvious here. The pick is Eric Spencer. Yeah, it's gotta be. Let's take him. He's an 82-rated safety. Oh, that's a beastie pick. Alright, round two, pick 14. Here we go. Who are we taking here? Let's look at the let's look at the team. Now we signed a running back. Oh, a wide receiver wouldn't be bad here. Um, a tackle. We could use a tackle. Cut this guy or trade him for whatever low value he has. Um a defensive tackle. Oh, we need a tackle bad. Yeah, yeah, that's that's definitely it. Yeah. Mm, we're gonna have to wait till round three for our tackle. I think so. I think we're going to have to take either this wide receiver. And got this wide, oh my goodness. I think I have to take this wide receiver who will probably maybe have either slow or maybe normal potential or normal um, potential for lucky. Or we're going to have to take um, this wide receiver down here, which had a really good combine, but ultimately I still don't think it'll make up for the difference. Mmm. That's a tough one. Or we go all the way down here and reach for this guy. Who actually doesn't look that bad. But I think we might be able to get Chase Humphrey in the third round. But I know for a fact we can't get Courtney King there, so let's take him. He's a 79. Let's just hope that we can get, um... Where is he? I'm blanking on his name now. Uh... Come on now. My defensive tackle. Daryl Wade? That is no. No, 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 no. Where the crap is he? Am I just blind? I guess so. Oh my goodness, he was the very next pick. You've got to be kidding me. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. Alright, well, let's just hope there's another tackle on the board. Defensive tackle, it's the only pick we can make here. Daryl Wade, we saw him in the last one. He's really quite strong, good vert. It's just whatever. He's got A-plus technique, B potential, we'll take him. He's a 70 overall. It's, I guess it's whatever. All right, what other positions do we need? We're at center. Defensive end, we got our tackle. He's slow dev too. Crap, but... 
We have our linebackers, we have our corners, we have our safety. Now let's pretty much just go for best available because there's no major holes on this team. Except for offensive tackle, actually. If there's a good offensive tackle, we're going to take him. And uh, I don't even see any offensive tackles. See an offensive guard? Is he any good? A plus. Oh my goodness, this guy looks like a beast. You know what? I think we're taking this guy unless I see someone who's you know, even better. And here's a tackle. Oh, this tackle looks really good, too. Might end up taking one of those two offensive linemen. Crap, they would both look really good, though. Chandler Woods, we do not need another tight end. We do not need a quarterback, but there's a really good steal. I might take him. Safety. The center, center, any good? No, not really. Antoine well, Perry. Oh, my goodness. This guy looks like a beast. Ooh. But, ah, uh, he, he won't improve much. Still, though. Mm, ah, no, we're... Ah, how old's my quarterback again? 34 and 28? Might be time for a new quarterback. A new guy to take the reins. In Antoine Perry. I really hope he's still here, because I just realized... It wasn't our pick yet. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Guys, oh my goodness. That was so embarrassing. Well, we're still going to go for a quarterback if there's a good one available. Now that that's all over and that I'm stupid and, yeah, I'm just stupid. Um, All these guys look alright. Eugene Brooks, definitely the best of them. Um, let's, oh, Bradley Harper's still here, actually, we might, and that other guy, sir. Who's the better guy, though? Mm, I think it's, I think it's Ellis Terry, even though it says he's, you know, round six. I don't know, though. Run block A, pass block A+, plus, B potential, C plus current, C plus current, B potential. He had a really good combine, he had an even better combine. Let's, let's just screw it. He's a 71. Let's see what um, Bradley Harper was. Bradley Harper. Come on now. Imagine we just end up getting both of them. Oh, no, no, no. He just went. He just went. I missed it. I freaking missed it, didn't I? Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's that's a rough one. Ugh. I'd say it was all right, but probably not the greatest. We are on the clock, and I have made sure, made double sure this time, that we are actually indeed on the clock. And Kyle Howell doesn't look awful for a, a fifth-round quarterback, I guess. And guys that are projected to go really high and still down here? Nope. Um, This running back, he doesn't look awful. Um, This guy, the linebacker. I like Kyle Howe. Definitely like Kyle Howe. Marcus Wynn. Adam Thomas. Ooh. C uh, plus potential, C plus current. It's not very enticing. Kyle Bowman. Caleb. W Ooh. Caleb Wells. Terrible stats. Terrible potential. Never mind. Eugene Bonner. Terry Bailey. Donald Jarrett. Oh my goodness. All these guys are just terrible. And everyone, oh, Lee Douglas, oh, oh my goodness, that guy looks like a beast, yeah, we're drafting him, that's light, yeah, 69, that's way, oh, wait, what, there was a 73 on the board, oh, I bet that was that quarterback, should've took him, mm, it's alright, we'll learn next year, I think, is the year that we take a quarterback, I think it's still a bit too early, a waste of, a top pick on a quarterback here. All right. Offensive lineman, defensive lineman, whoever's the best here. I did, th I, I thought Carl Bowman was all right. Rex Martin, I believe, is actually where I left off last time, maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, Quentin Holmes. Looks like a pretty solid running back. JT Kelly, A-plus run blocking, crappy everything else. 
see plus potential. That's something. King Pierce. Damon Carey. Mm, all these guys just look trash. But I'm hoping I can come across someone like I did last time. Just a gem. Nick Foster. He looks alright. Andre McFadden. Bo Manning. Oh my goodness, Bo Manning. An incredible combine, but his stats are just not there. We might take him, though. If we don't find anyone else, we'll take him. Hmm. Bob Anderson? Don't look bad. Bob Anderson actually looks pretty good. But we're stacked at tight end. I'd rather take Bo Manning, honestly. You know what? Just out of curiosity, because I want to find out what Bo Manning actually is, to see how much, you know, combine matters compared to skills as drafted. A 65, so Combine is crap. Don't really listen to Combine, is what that tells me. I mean, listen to it, but don't prioritize Combine over everything else. Alright. Oh, I can look at... Oh, I can look at picks. Alright, let's go back. Round 5. Round 4, last pick. Bradley Harper was a 71. Alright. So we took a 71 guy as well, so that's not bad. Ooh, someone got a 61 in round 4. Oh, that's rough. Now, where was that quarterback? I kind of forget where he even was. Just go back. Couldn't have been this one, right? Was it round five, maybe? Eugene Brooks, was that him? No, I don't think so. I think he might have been better. Than... Kyle Howell, that's him. 69. All right, so we didn't do bad. It wasn't Corey. Corey Hill, the running back, was a 73. All right, back on topic. This guy's the best rated, Eugene Bonner. I've been looking at him for a couple rounds, so you know what? Could be the pick here. Um, Malcolm Copeland. Nick Foster, didn't I like him? Dante Shaw. Jerry Manning. Leonard, uh, wait. Wasn't a bad combine, but... Oh, A awareness, C coverage? Hey, Tim. Ah, all these guys are so bad. Quentin Clayton looks like a pretty balanced QB. Probably maybe a 63 at best, I don't know. A work ethic? I quite like that. C plus potential is this franchise. I'm kind of query- curious to see what Quentin Clayton is, though. I think he could be solid, but I'm also thinking that Billy Roberts is definitely a better guy. But we're just going to take a quarterback next year, so it doesn't really matter. Oh my goodness, this guy right here, that's the pick. A 62, but I mean, he had crazy good stats, so I'm not mad at that. Alright, a very solid draft class. Let's just look through it. We had seven picks, one in each round. Our first rounder has been on Eric Spencer, which was an incredible pick, 82 overall. At our biggest need. Then we took Courtney King and her probably our second bit. Well, our third biggest speed need right behind defensive tackle. Took him 79, but he had slow. Oh, it's killing us, these slows. Um, another slow with our third round pick with Daryl Wade, but it was a need, so then we got offensive guard Ellis Terry at 71 overall. Then we got Lee Douglas at 69, Bo Manning at 65, and Kenny Wine Wine? 62. So not a terrible draft class, also not a great draft class. Here is um, the roster. Bo Manning, rookie Courtney King, who's going to immediately step in and make a huge impact on this team. Um, another notable rookies to watch out for. Um, another guy to watch out for would be right down here, Daryl Wade, because I feel like he might end up getting some playing time if any of these guys go down. I mean, you know he'll get some playing time if any of these guys go down, but he might be able to you know, make waves in an obvious one. Eric Spencer, the 82 quick dev rookie, who is going to be the star of our defense for years to come. Going to take on Mike, Michael Crawford, Crawford for the king of the defense. We'll have to follow that, see who ends up becoming out king of the defense. Because that'll be an interesting storyline. I'm excited to see that, because we know who the king of the offense is. It's, it's Kelly Pryor. 
but he's going to be gone next year, and we're going to have to draft our new quarterback of the future, so that'll be interesting. That'll be in episode 5, so check that out. But we've got a rivalry game against Green Bay, and I think, you know, I don't think it would be fair if we didn't at least sim week 1, right? Yeah. Here we go. And we beat him! What a way to start the season. We beat him by a field goal. That's how you start a season. Let's go 1-0. I'll see you all next time.